Okay, it's February 12th, 2016, and as you can see, my refrigerator is apart again. I had a little problem. We had some water dripping on the floor, and I believe it was an overflow. What happens is the, um, if you take a look right here, the hole gets clogged up with ice. It totally freezes over, and the water overflows, and comes down someplace through the machine and then ends up on the floor somehow. So what we're going to do today is we're going to actually try and put one of those little tab extenders on this little tab right here. Okay, so let's zoom in a little closer right here and I'll show you. See that little metal tab right here that I'm touching? If you notice, it's actually clamped on to the heater coil. That that darker colored um, tube that it's on is a heater coil. So the concept is it um, transfers heat through that little tab into that hole which helps prevent the ice from forming from the water from, from freezing in there and, and creating ice. Okay, so if you're getting to this for the first time and you're seeing that you have ice there, just to let you know, this is the best way to melt the ice. A, a hot, a, a, a hair dryer doesn't work well here. Basically what you do is you take your turkey baster, you suck up some hot water from a cup, and you just keep on squeegeeing it in and out of the hole and it's amazing how fast it'll melt that ice and um, all of a sudden you'll see the water just drain you know drain down um, while you're doing this so don't waste your time with the hair dryer there just use the turkey baster and you know squeegee in hot hot water in and out and you'll get rid of the ice pretty quickly all right so what we're going to do is we're actually going to grab a drill with a small bit and I'm going to just drill a tiny little hole in the bottom part of this uh, tab so we can put something on to extend it. And I just took a very uh, small drill bit uh, and um, you can see here I'm just gonna drill it out real fast. Be careful, don't put your fingers behind it like I did. Once you got the hole drilled out, you'll take a, I decided to use a, uh, a pop rivet only because I, I found an aluminum one in my garage and since that little tab there is made out of aluminum I just figured I'd extend the aluminum down and here I'm going to show you the, um, the pop rivet. I'm going to show you right there and pop rivets have like a little slider on it and I just decided to take the slider off because we just need the, um, we just need the nail part and from this point, it's pretty simple. We're just going to take the, um, the pop rivet, push it down through the little pilot hole that we just created in that tab, and then just push it down in the center of the of the hole, the drain hole. And again, the concept is when that heating coil heats up, if it even works. Uh, I personally, I think that's one of the primary problems with this refrigerator is it just doesn't get hot or hot enough. So. Let me zoom in real fast. You're going to see the the nail, which is made of aluminum, is just extending that that tab down into the hole a little further, and hopefully the heat will conduct through that and help keep it um, keep the ice from forming. All right. So just uh, backing up, when you defrost the the freeze uh, the refrigerator here, you're going to notice that these coils are very very wet they're dripping and it's very important to get that water off of the coils because let's think about it here you know you got water on the coils and then you're going to turn your refrigerator back on what's going to happen that water is going to freeze and turn back to ice so what i'm doing here is i'm just further drying the coils and taking as much of that water off there as possible make sure your refrigerator is off while you're doing this um just uh, dry the uh, water. You can see the water dripping and that's after the ice is melted. There's still just a lot of moisture and water on there. So listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. Most of all, I hope it helped and please comment. I love reading your comments and thumbs up are always appreciated. Have a great day everybody. Bye.